I found the top 10 health related remote jobs. Yes, a lot of people out there think there's no health related remote jobs and that just is not true. If you look at a website like flexjobs.com, which is dedicated to hiring people for remote positions only, you're going to see there is a ton of remote jobs available <laughs> that are healthcare related. And I myself was a pharmacist that was able to work remote, right? So when most people picture pharmacists, they think there's no possible way that you can work remote, but actually there's quite a few job opportunities out there. And in this video, I'm gonna go over a bunch of entry level, mid level, Level and even some higher level positions that you can get into and work remote that are healthcare related. And some of these positions are entry level. That means they require zero experience or a college degree. And then some of them are gonna be higher level where they require a degree and maybe some experience as well. But number 10 on the list is going to be a clinical scheduler. And this is somebody who manages and coordinates medical appointments remotely. Now this is a position where you can make about $46,000 a year, which is pretty good for entry level. And for this position, all you need is a GE or a high school diploma. You don't need previous experience. You can get hired at the entry level. And depending on where you live, there may be a certification or training requirement. But a lot of the time, the place that hired you will actually train you. And that's actually true with a lot of these healthcare related careers. So this one's pretty good. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a mental health therapist. And this is somebody who provides counseling and therapy to patients. Now, this is one that does require a college degree. And typically, there is going to be extensive training requirements requirements as well, but you get paid about $71,000 a year and there's more and more opportunities to work remote. So this one does have higher requirements, but it also pays pretty well. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a medical billing specialist. And this is basically somebody who's an expert on medical codes, insurance claims, and payment processes. So the medical system in the United States of America is an absolute mess, and I'm not going to get into that. That's a topic for another video, but it's very important to accurately document the exact treatments that you gave the patient, how much time you spent with them, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what medical billers are able to do. And they make around $45,000 a year. Now this one does not require a college degree, but it does require training and medical billing and medical coding. And again, a lot of the time you can get that training from the company that hires you. And this is a pretty important job so that doctors aren't spending all of their time doing billing and they're spending their time actually helping the patient. And this is also a really good career to go into if you want to later on, rise up through the ranks. Maybe you want to go to college, get a better degree so that you can get into a better career. It's a great background to get used to the medical system because you're going to learn a lot when you memorize all the different diagnosis codes. So overall, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be a patient enrollment specialist. And this is a position where you're going to specialize in determining the patient's eligibility, navigating insurance claims, and managing medical documentation. And this is another entry-level career, does not require a college degree, doesn't require require previous experience. It does require some training, but typically the company will take care of that. And you make about $44,000 a year. So this is another pretty good one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be medical sales or insurance sales. So there is honestly so much money when it comes to medical sales and insurance sales. Now on the medical sales side, you would be engaging with doctors and selling them different Absolutely. medical related products. And this would range all the way from software systems that make the medical doctor's job easier to different types types of equipment such as prosthetics. And then on the insurance side, of course, you would typically be working with patients and usually it's gonna be like Medicare patients to figure out what the best insurance plans are for them. Now, I know that might sound a little bit sketchy, but actually because of the fact that it's so unbelievably complicated in the United States, the entire medical system and insurance system is just messed up. These positions actually do provide a lot of value. And I've seen patients that have saved literally tens of thousands of dollars a year just by switching insurance. And in this position, you make about $173,000 a year. Now, whether or not you need a college degree is going to depend on the position that you go into. Many of these positions are going to prefer someone who has a college degree and a background working in some sort of medical profession, but not all of them do. For instance, some of the insurance related positions you can get into without a college degree or previous experience. So yeah, this one can be really good. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, the easiest way to break into an entry level sales job, in my opinion, is going into tech sales. I've interviewed 
interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten jobs in tech sales and they all used a company Course Careers. Course Careers is sponsoring this video. And you can check out a free training on tech sales by clicking down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Sales is probably one of the most valuable skills you can possibly learn. My favorite job was personally a sales job. So yeah, definitely worth it to check that out. They go over everything about tech sales and why it's so easy to break into. And you can check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But next on the list is going to be a health and wellness coach. And basically what you'd be doing here is remotely providing personal guidance on diet, exercise and health, and you'd be giving accountability and support. Now there are a lot of jobs available to do this. Many people also start their own businesses, kind of do a freelancing type of thing as well. And health and wellness coaches make about $63,000 a year. So you do see a trend now of a lot of different companies doing this where they are providing these types of services and giving people more personalized advice on what they can do in order to improve their health. And I could see this one taking off even more in the future because I do think that the medical industry is headed in that direction where they're really trying to personalize healthcare to each individual patient. For instance, there's a lot of research being done in genetics where they can basically tell you what kind of conditions you're going to have later on in life. So it's really good to know if you're probably going to develop diabetes by the time you're 30 or 40. Then you can be proactive and do things in order to prolong your life. So yeah, I like this one a lot. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is very similar to a medical billing specialist, and that is a medical coder. And this is somebody who translates complex medical information into medical codes. And this makes it easier to bill patients and also keep accurate records. Now, if anybody has worked in a hospital, especially one of the older hospitals, they would probably know that doctor handwriting is incredibly hard to read. And with a lot of the newer electronic health record systems, it's much, much easier to understand what the doctor is trying to say. So I am a big fan of the electronic health record systems, although some people are kind of trying to turn them into electronic cash registers. And medical coders do play a vital role in making sure that medical accidents don't happen. So medical coders make about $65,000 a year. It's also entry level, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. It does require training though. So overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a medical transcriptionist. And this is somebody who transcribes audio recordings to written medical records. So I remember back when I was doing hospital rotations, once in a while I would sit in on surgeries. And after a surgeon does a surgery, they basically talk into a device and they talk really fast. And the person who is on the other end of that device, whether it's, you know, directly to them or they they transcribe it later on is going to transcribe all of that information. And that's because surgeons are incredibly busy and they don't have time to write all that stuff out themselves. Now, of course, this has to be incredibly accurate and also has to be done really fast because other healthcare professionals are waiting on that information. For instance, nurses might need to know any problems that arose during surgery. So this is another really good one. You make around $62,000 a year. It doesn't require a college degree, but sometimes it may require certification and it always requires training. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be healthcare customer service representative. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be a customer service representative for some sort of healthcare related company. Now this pays a bit more than a normal customer service representative, about $44,000 a year. And the reason for that is because you do have to have specialized training. For instance, medical records are very closely protected and you absolutely cannot give out any medical records to somebody who is not an authorized agent. And this is another one where you do not have to have a college degree or previous experience, but it is going to require training. So overall, this is one of the easiest jobs to land. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And now let's talk about a remote nurse. So this is one of those where you probably think there's not going to be any available positions for remote nurses, and you'd actually be wrong. You can provide medical care and support from a distance. And these types of positions got more and more popular since the pandemic. So here's an article from a lady who worked as a nurse for 13 years, and she finally transitioned into remote nursing and she said it vastly improved her health and life. So that's pretty awesome. And remote nurses make about $76,000 a year. So obviously this one is going to require a college degree, Typically, you're not going to become a remote nurse right off the bat. You're probably going to have to have a background in nursing first. So a little harder to get into than a lot of the other ones on the list. But with that being said, if you're a nurse watching this, definitely go for it. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out, I did make a video on the six remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.